Hi folks, welcome to my studio. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a recording that I made from a songwriter from Argentina, yes, Agustin, who sent me a really, really beautiful and nice song. Yes, I'm very challenging because the song has different parts. So I had, I had to work the percussion recording in different sections, yes, in order to follow uh, the vibe and the path that the song proposed, yes. Uh, also, the song is uh, is in a you know uh, you can say a candombe kind of feeling, yes. Has something of tango in his colors. You can find milonga. So I needed to go around several rhythms to build a percussion arrangement of the song. So follow me, and I show you the step by step of the instruments and rhythms I record and the final result of the recording. First of all, let's listen to the reference track, yes, that Agustin sent me to make the recording, yes, so... Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that's the first part of the song. Yes, as I said, uh, the song is uh, built around several, uh, you know, um, several uh, Rio Platense, we can say, that are rhythms that I play in Argentina, in Uruguay, yes, in Buenos Aires and Montevideo. So they're in the neighbor of Candombe, Murga, maybe Milonga, and San Tango. Yes, the, the song has that color. So I work it around uh, that vibe uh, on those rhythms. So the first instrument I record uh, in the song was the cajon, yes, because uh, cajon is going to have the lead in the different rhythms that uh, you're going to find along the arrangement, yes? So, as I said, the song is built around candombe. So I started the song playing um, candombe pattern in cajon. Yeah, that goes in this way. One, two, three, four. What I did, I record a pattern in congas, yes, that also plays candombe, and that goes with the cajon pattern, something like this. One, two, three, four. of the recording of this section. So after the first part, the song goes into a more half candombe, half bossa nova feel, yes? Something like this. So, uh, what I did is I kept the um, congas playing the same. I added a shaker, but I changed the pattern of the cajon. Yes, too much bossa uh, nova feeling. I play something like this with the cajon. One, two, three, four.
So let's listen now to the final result of the recording of this section. Querrás quedarte la, pero no podrás calmar su sed. So after that part, he, there comes a new section, yes, in which uh, the songs goes into a more Latin, yes, you know, it's a uh, songs that keep changing all the time the the rhythms and the vibe. So what I did in there, I had to change again the setup. Of the rhythms not the instrument i kept the the same instrument to give consistency to the recording but i keep changing um little pieces of what the instrument play so in this case i change it the um, you know the the new vibe is more like uh, uh latin yes you can say that sounds uh, more latin uh let's listen to it uh. So what I did is I, I give more presence to the congas. Yes, what I mean is playing something more like um, you know a mambo or song or rhythm, something like this. One, two, three, four. recorded a different pattern of a uh, cajon that goes along with the conga rhythm I record and it sounds like this one two three four So let's listen now to the result of the recording of this section. One last uh, section of the song that is important to revise that is the coda or the end of the song. In this part, Agustin made like a vocal arrangement in which you're gonna have different uh, voices making different melodies. Yes, some call and answers. It, it's very nice what, what he built. Yes, no, let's listen to it. No, Yes, very very nice so in order to give a new feel into that part um uh, close the song with a high energy i change most of the patterns uh, that i play in the previous sections yes in the cajon i recorded the following one two three four So in congas I record the following rhythm one two three four In this part I also added a bongo yes playing uh, you know in candombe you have an instrument that is the repique that is uh, kind of that playing a rhythm but at the same time is soloing so I try to replicate uh, the feeling of the, the repique and the chico that is another drum in the bongo to give the candombe vibe to the song 
So I record a rhythm kind of like this. One, two, three, four. Also, to give uh, a new color to the recording, I record uh, two rhythms with palms, yes? Uh, I really like to use palms and hard percussion in mostly in acoustic song because uh, I think that it gives a different energy and sounding, yes? So what I record is I record two different palms, yes? The first one is gonna play in just the subdivision, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Yes, and the other was playing a simple clave. Packed, packed. Yes, to this I also added a maraca and a shaker uh, to build uh, this environment of music sounding, people singing and people playing at the same time. So let's listen now to the final result of the recording of this section. video i hope you like it and find it entertaining yes if you like it please subscribe and give a thumbs up as i usually say in this section uh, if you have a song or any kind of musical production in which you need percussion to be recorded don't hesitate to contact me i'll be more than glad to help you with that yes you have all my contact info in the box of the video i see you in the next video